demand. A delay in data hurting people already at a disadvantage. Where the vaccination effort stands right now and what is missing from the numbers. Good morning and a happy Friday. Finally, we made it to the end of the week. We thank you for waking up with us this morning. It is really cold out there. Yeah. A lot of schools either canceled or delayed today. Those are running at the bottom of your screen on WSLS.com and our app. But the snow really was beautiful, making some picturesque views across Southwest Virginia. We've received a lot of photos from you, and this is one from John Wilshire in Thaxton. Just gorgeous. Looks like a painting. Mm -hmm. It really does. Let me show you this one. This is from Al Jones in Rona. Beautiful scene there as well. Now, while the snow is not falling right now, that that did melt onto the roads, it could refreeze and that creates some headaches for us for the morning commute. Let's get over to Chris now with an update on temperatures and the next storm that's, that's coming right. our way. Yeah, temperatures way below. Two local school districts will become one. The Virginia Board of Education approved the merger of the Allegheny County and Covington School Divisions. During a board meeting yesterday afternoon, everyone agreed to the change. The consolidation would begin on July 1st of next year. Students would merge during the 23-24 school year. In a statement, acting superintendent for Allegheny County Schools says there's still more to be done, but they're confident in the steps ahead. The New this morning, the Commonwealth is making it easier for people to be notified of a positive COVID-19 test result and anonymously share those results with others who may have been exposed. VDH will now text you if you've tested positive for the virus. The text will come from the number you see there on your screen uh, set between 8 a.m. and 8 p.m. There will be a link to enter your positive test into the COVIDWISE app. Liberty University healthcare students are serving on the front lines during the pandemic. Nursing and medical students have been helping at community clinics for COVID-19 vaccinations, assisting patients with filling out forms, distributing CDC information, and monitoring patients for any allergic reactions. LU says its clinical students are at a higher risk of exposure to the virus. They're advocating for students to be prioritized during the first wave of vaccines. New this morning, if you had weekend plans to visit Devil's Backbone in Nelson County, you'll have to find something else to do. The brewery is temporarily closed as a precaution after an employee tested positive for COVID-19. The company says it will be closed until further notice to thoroughly clean and sanitize the property. The Salem School Board is holding a work session today. It will discuss the salary study recommendations, intervention for students, and will tour construction at Salem High School. And today is the deadline to submit your comments about the City of Roanoke's strategic plan. That plan focuses on seven priorities, including education, safety, and infrastructure. Comments can be submitted until noon today. We've got a link for you with more information on WSLS.com. Today, to join the polar plunge. The new at 645. We may not have a local team in the Super Bowl, but there will be a local dog on the field. It's all about grabbing the toys and running into the end zone. Cute little face there. Meet the local star in the Puppy Bowl and the charity he's representing. Plus, the new dog. In the forecast prompts quick planning for homeless shelters and warming centers. 10 News reporter Megan Woods joins us live this morning to explain what they have to consider in order to keep people safe. Megan, good morning. Good morning, Martin's. We're coming up on 620 this Friday morning. Let's get you caught up on drive times. And we're looking good across the region this morning. 460 your drive Lynchburg to Roanoke's on time at 50 minutes. We'll slow down 220 Roanoke to Rocky Mountain. That drive at 28. Their idea about the water balloons. You still have time to sign up or donate to the Polar Plunge. You can head to WSLS.com for more information. Jenna Patrick and I, we are all doing the plunge this year, thinking of some creative ways to do it. Yeah. I'm looking forward to the plunge part, not so much the polar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I feel you on that one. Yeah, can we do it in July and call it something different? <laughs> call it a beach vacation. Yeah. yeah. What's the oh, fun that? Yes. <laughs> Goodness, temperatures, hey, they've taken the next half hour of Virginia today. 626 now still to come this morning. President Biden signs a new round of executive orders. His latest move, he says, will help low-income Americans. Plus, with and news, Virginia Today at 6, working for you. Free community college. Some students in Virginia may get their education for free. What's now needed to turn the legislation 
into reality. Remembering the line, plus he's just really cute. Yes, he You're is. gonna want to see this. Good morning to you. Happy Friday! Thanks for waking up with us this morning into the work week. Yes. Thank goodness. And it yes. is a cold, and many schools closed or delayed. Those are scrolling at the bottom of your screen on WSLS.com and on the 10 News app. Chris. 6:32 now. President Biden has signed a new round of executive actions. This time on health care. The actions in part reopen enrollment on the Affordable Care Act exchanges, allowing some uninsured Americans to access Obamacare policies while also providing federal assistance to pay for health care. President Biden's also aiming to strengthen coverage options for low income Americans by rolling back Trump administration changes to Medicaid. We continue to battle COVID-19. Even more critical Americans have meaningful access to health care. In a separate executive action, the president seeks to expand access to abortion by overturning his predecessor's restrictions on the use of taxpayer dollars. The Roanoke Times is looking for a new home after writing the news from his downtown Roanoke office for more than a century. Berkshire Hathaway sold the newspaper to Lee Enterprises last year. The company still owned the building and ultimately made the decision to sell. Journalists with the Roanoke Times unionized last year in hopes of advocating for better wages and benefits. We are still here and we are still uh, covering the news and we will cover the news and bring them important stories uh, wherever we physically are. The staff of the Roanoke Times has been told they will find a new place to work from and relocate. 10 News contacted Lee Enterprises for comment. We were told they had none at this time. General. 636 snow and ice in the forecast for the weekend. How local warming centers are preparing to help keep you safe. If storms move through you. New this morning, many homeless shelters and warming centers are keeping a close eye on the forecast. 10 News reporter Megan Woods joins us live this morning with how the pandemic is adding even more pressure. Megan, good morning. Good morning. Experiencing homeless. He He's is so adorable. He is, yeah. right? And wiggly. Yes. <laughs> wiggly. I love it. <laughs> and you know what? He definitely receives a lot of love there. He's got a great home, and they were showing me that they use sign language to communicate with him. So as you're watching the puppy bowl, this is the sign for clapping Woo! or good job, and he definitely responds to that. And there is a way that you can show your love for him as well. There's a competition where you can vote for him. And Marshall just happens to be in the lead right oh, now. Wow. So nice. we want to keep propelling him forward. I've got a link to that on my Facebook page. And if he wins, Green Dogs Unleashed will take home a cash prize. We mm -hmm. love that. Mm -hmm. Pretty exciting. The Puppy Bowl, February 7th at 2 p.m. Your local weather. Doctors and medical students competed last night in the ninth annual Docs for Morgan basketball game. Instead of facing off on the hardwood, they faced off behind the controllers of a basketball video game. The event raises money for medical students in honor of Morgan Harrington, the Virginia Tech student murdered in Charlottesville in 2009. Her parents say it's critical as healthcare workers are center stage. Circularity of the Docs for Morgan game that in response to our family's injury, we return healers to the community gives me a great deal of satisfaction. And I'm so happy that the pandemic was not able to put us off track. The scholarship, the scholarship fund has raised $400,000 over the year. A very creative way to keep the tradition going. Yeah, great idea there. It is 655. Here's a look at five things you need to know on this Friday. Franklin County Schools voted to keep pre-K through seventh grade four days a week in person. Eighth grade will start four days a week in person next month, and high school will start hybrid next month. Franklin County High School's principal said they tried to find more space in other buildings, but it just didn't work. The Centers for Disease Control can... The Virginia House of Delegates overwhelmingly passes legislation to make community college free for some. The bill would cover community college costs, including tuition for low- and middle-income students. Sources say the bill is pretty much a done deal. After the General Assembly hurdles, it's off to the governor's desk for his signature. Sucks on the back side of it at times Monday. Temperatures gradually improve next week. Coming up next on today, Olympic superstar Michael Phelps and his wife sit down to talk about mental health 
and its impact on their family. This is a live look at Lynchburg. Look at that. Lovely. Beautiful start to our Friday morning from our Liberty University Sky Cam. Thanks so much for joining us. We hope you have a great day and a great weekend. Ben and Jerry's has proved time and time again that they are the ultimate ice cream innovators and their latest release is truly over the top. <laughs> I think for all three of us, this is our favorite story of the yeah, day. It is. The company is introducing seven new flavors. The new line is called Topped and each one features a thick chocolatey ganache topping. Mm, yeah. Doesn't that sound wonderful? Yes, it does. Yes. Yes. They cover just about every flavor from peanut butter Yum. to mint. Ew. There's also a whiskey <laughs> biz yes. featuring oh, yeah? brown butter bourbon ice cream with blonde brownies and whiskey caramel <sighs> swirls. My mind just explodes. Salted caramel brownie. Yum. Oh, I hear chocolate and I'm in heaven. Oh gosh. All the topped flavors are available nationwide for about five bucks a pint. I have to go mm. buy as many as I can put in my freezer. I have no room in my freezer, so I just have to buy one and eat it. <sighs> yeah, that'll work. My gosh, and, and I've got to try and concentrate right now. That's mm -hmm. good luck with that. Yeah, thanks, mm. guys. Appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Those do look good.